Welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by. In life, there is always an alternative. So also in statistics, there are alternatives too. So in this video, I'll be discussing a list of non-parametric test statistics as alternative to parametric test statistics because such a knowledge is imperative to the progressive life of every academia, researcher, and industrialist who has to overcome the challenges with some data analysis. My name is Tito Kang, and this is Tito Kamak Solutions, a YouTube channel for improving the knowledge of how to do things. Now, what is non-parametric test in statistics? A non-parametric test is a statistical test that is used to analyze data that does not meet the assumptions of parametric tests, particularly concerning the distributional shape of the data or the level of measurement. Non-parametric tests are used when data cannot be assumed to be normally distributed or when the assumptions of parametric tests such as homogeneity of variances or interval ratio data are violated. Basically, non-parametric tests are useful tools for data analysis and they provide a valuable alternative to parametric tests when analyzing data that does not meet the stringent assumptions of parametric statistics especially when dealing with non-normal distributions, small sample sizes, and ordinary data. They provide flexible and robust methods for drawing meaningful conclusions from diverse types of data. They are particularly useful in fields like social sciences, biology, and medicine, where data often exhibit non-normal distributions or are measured on ordinary scales. The following points describe the characteristics of non-parametric tests. 1. It is distribution-free. That is, it does not assume that the data follows a specific probability distribution. This makes them more robust when the assumption of parametric tests are violated, such as the data distribution being skewed. 2. It handles ordinary data. That is, they can handle data measured on ordinary scale which only preserves the order of values, for example, ranking. 3. It is, however, less sensitive. Non-parametric tests are generally less powerful. That is, it is less likely to detect an effect if it exists compared to their parametric alternatives, especially when the assumptions of parametric tests are made. And 4. It makes fewer assumptions about the data distribution and can be applied to ordinary interval, and ratio data. Basically, there are five common types of non-parametric test statistics. They are 1. man with niu test 2. wisconsin sign rank test 3. Kruskal-Wallis-Hirsch test 4. Friedman test and 5. Spearman's rank correlation. But in practical terms, these non-parametric tests serve as alternatives as follows. 1. man with niu test is alternative to independent sample t test. 2. wisconsin sign rank test is alternative to paired sample t test. 3. Kruskal-Wallis H test is alternative to one-way ANOVA. 4. Friedman test is alternative to repeated measures ANOVA. And 5. Spearman's rank correlation is alternative to Pearson's correlation. Now, let's take a look at the non-parametric test statistics one by one to see what they are used for and then see their corresponding parametric test statistics to which they serve as alternative. The first on the list is man with niu test. This test is used to compare differences between two independent groups when the dependent variable is either ordinal or continuous, but not normally distributed and it is used to test whether there are significant differences in the medians of the dependent variable between the two grouping variables. The parametric alternative is the independent sample t-test. That is, you are expected to consider performing a man with niu test if and only if the parametric assumptions of independent sample t-test are not met, satisfied, or are violated by your data. Two. Wisconsin sign rank tests. This test is a non-parametric statistical test used to compare two related samples, matched samples or repeated measurements on a single sample to assess whether their population mean ranks differ. 
The parametric alternative is the paired sample t test. That is, you are expected to consider performing a Wisconsin sign rank test if and only if the parametric assumptions of paired sample t tests are not satisfied or are violated by your data. However, this test is useful when dealing with small sample sizes or ordinal data and provides a robust method for analyzing paired differences without relying on the assumptions of normality. 3. Kruskal-Wallis H test. Kruskal-Wallis H test is used to compare differences between three or more groups of an independent variable, and it is basically used to assess whether there are statistically significant differences between the medians of the three or more independent groups. It is an extension of the man with new test to multiple groups and serves as a non-parametric alternative to one-way ANOVA. The Kruskal-Wallis Hayes test is useful for comparing multiple groups if and only if the assumptions of one-way ANOVA are not met, such as when dealing with ordinal data or when the data are not normally distributed. 4. Friedman test. The Friedman test is a non-parametric statistical test that can be used to detect differences in treatment across multiple test attempts. It is particularly useful for experimental designs involving repeated measures, such as testing the same subject under different conditions or over different time points, where the assumption of parametric tests are not met. It is, however, an extension of the Wisconsin sign rank test to more than two related groups. The parametric alternative is repeated measures ANOVA. Again, performing a Friedman test is to be considered if and only if the parametric assumptions of repeated measures ANOVA are not satisfied or are violated by your data. And five, spear mass rank correlation. Spear mass rank correlation is a non-parametric measure of rank correlation. It assesses the strength and direction of the association between two ranked variables, making it versatile for a wide range of applications in statistical analysis. Spear mass correlation can capture monotonic relationships, that is, relationships that are consistently increasing or decreasing, but not necessarily linear. Spear mass rank correlation is particularly useful when dealing with ordinal data, nonlinear relationships, or when the assumptions of Pearson's correlations are not met. The parametric alternative is Pearson's correlation. So you are expected to consider performing a spear mass rank correlation if and only if the parametric assumptions of Pearson's correlation are not satisfied or are violated by your data. Now, if you have watched or seen this video this far, I would like to inform you that in my subsequent videos, I shall be discussing the non-parametric statistical test one per video in more details and with a full data analysis demonstration in XPSS. But right now, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video and you want to see more video contents like this, please like this video by giving it a thumbs up, share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive notification every time I publish new and useful content. Subscription is free. Thanks for your time and subscription. Thanks for liking and sharing this video. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye.